he looks great, but I need, I need his custard inside. I need his substance, his filling. I need to have it. You know? Uh... <laughs> Sleep town? Sure. So we have to get winter clothes. Oh yeah, we do need those. We gotta look fashionably winter. I head to John's makeup trailer and set up my workspace. John enters with a bottle of water in one hand and a script in the other. He seems completely engrossed in the script and doesn't even seem to realize I'm even here. As John raises the water bottle to his lips, he walks right into me. Smooth move, dude. <laughs> he sputters and drops the bottle. I grab choke, it before choke, it's still choke, 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 choke. Choke, oh. <laughs> That's a bit intense. John hunches over and pounds his chest with his fist a few times. He tries to clear the water from his throat. Sean, <coughs> didn't see you there. <coughs> I guess that already. Are you okay? John clears his throat a few more times and nods. Nothing wounded, save my pride. And your pride? He offers up a rueful smile, but doesn't make any eye contact. Walking into someone and spitting water all <laughs> over her isn't exactly what I'd label graceful. <sighs> yeah, well, no harm done. I set the water bottle down on the table. He nods, but still refuses to look me in the eyes. He glances around the room a few times before sitting down. Right, well... Wow, John Brandon's flustered. I never thought I'd live to see the day. His usual cool demeanor is gone, and it looks like he's having trouble composing himself. Oh, what should I do? Get to work. Get to work, work, fuck well, your let's feelings, get to work, then, John. Shall we? I would be much obliged. Yes. John looks relieved at the change in topic. Oh. Image! Don't get close, don't stand so close to me. You're and much too young, girl. Fuck, it's true. <laughs> and lay the prosthetic scar on his face and carefully glue it down, smoothing the edges out as I go. John holds perfectly still, his face a picture of calm serenity, but if the temperature of his cheeks is any indicator, he's still a little embarrassed. I work in silence, carefully painting and blending the scar until it looks natural. It only takes a few minutes to finish the rest of his makeup. All done. Thank you. He opens his eyes, stands, and heads for the door. Uh... He glances over his shoulder. Is something wrong? No, um, it's just usually you tease me or say something really sarcastic right about now. And do you want me to tease you? No. No. Go home, you weirdo. Not particularly. I just didn't expect you to be in such a rush. John sighs and hangs his head. I apologize. For being in a rush? For running into you and nearly dousing you with water. Oh, right. Um, no worries. You're forgiven already. John looks relieved. Then go work your magic somewhere else, little wizard. Um, mall. To the mall, the mall to get some clothes. Be Come fashionable. On, Santa. <gasps> it's your taken. Santa! Nicole stands outside the cabin dressed in an overly bright green dress and a pointed cap. She's currently handing out flyers to anyone who accept one. Every time she moves, I can hear the merry jingling of bells. As I near her, I notice she's wearing a set of green felt shoes, also adorned with bells. Poor girl. It is the least flattering outfit I've seen in a long time, but she still makes it... She still makes it cute. Sean! Nicole, I didn't know you were one of Santa's little helpers. Emphasis on little. Nicole rolls her eyes. I think I only got the gig because they needed someone who fit into this terrible excuse for an elf outfit. Mmm, comforter. At least you have work. That's something to take comfort in, right? She sighs. I suppose I can't afford to be picky. 
Everyone thinks being an actress is a glamorous job, Sean. Don't buy into the lie. Trust me, I have no intention of trying to get into acting. It's really not my thing. Nicole frowns. Sometimes I wonder if it's mine. Aw, it Aww. will be. It will Come be. Santa! Get your picture taken! A family of four passes by and Nicole immediately snaps back into cheerful mode. The youngest child looks up at his parents expectantly. The parents smile awkwardly and shake their heads, but their teenage son has other ideas because he's a fucking dick. He approaches Nicole with a smug grin on his face. How about I be Santa and you sit on my lap instead? Nicole maintains her perfect smile. Sorry, sir, but the photo opportunity is only for people ages 12 and under. Aw, oh, come on. I'm sure you can be naughty just this once. Nicole's smile doesn't fade as she replies. This guy is bold as hell to be harassing someone right in front of his parents. Well, clearly he must have done it before because they don't give a shit. Only paying customers are allowed inside Winter Wonderland. Please leave or I will ask Mall Security to escort you from the premises. The boy glares at her and mutters something under his breath about Nicole being uptight. Nicole blithely ignores him and turns her attention back to me. Ugh, sometimes I wish I could just punch every idiot in the face. If everyone got punched in the face for doing something stupid, I think all of us would have black eyes. Hmm, that might be an acceptable trade. <laughs> that bad? Does this happen a Same. lot? Yes, Sean, yes it does. You are lucky, Sean. Em embrace that luckiness. Stop Often Stop. enough. I'm sure you get plenty, too. I'm on. Not really. Sean, you don't go out in public. <laughs> then Thank count God. yourself lucky. Nicole, are you chatting with friends on the job? A man in a dress shirt and a tie approaches quickly. The badge on his shirt indicates he's a manager. Not at all, sir. Just trying to recruit more workers for you. The manager eyes me for a split second before shaking his head. Don't bother. She doesn't have the right look. If you say so, sir. The manager stalks off and Nicole offers an apologetic smile. Sorry, I probably shouldn't be chatting with you. That's fine. I don't want you to get in trouble. See you around, Sean. Yeah, see you later. See you, friend. Clothes. Buy some clothes okay, so at the clothes store. We want the knee-high boots. Knee-high. Pink or white. Well, let's figure out the rest of our outfit. So That's we have like sweatpants, skinny jeans, mm -hmm. or the skirts. <laughs> and then we have parkas. Fashion Ooh. jackets, and then the cute ones. I like the fashion jackets, honestly. Me too. And then probably it would look good with the skinny jeans. You know, probably we'll probably want to go with the white boots. What color jacket? Mm, I like them both. How about the, you know what, how about the, the lighter color one? Okay. Because then we have the light coat, we can do dark pants. And then we can have the white shoes. Do you want the black or the blue jeans? Mm, I think either will work. I think the blue might be a good idea because maybe it'll like evoke the scarf, the scarf color. Ooh, good, good, good point. E. See how it looks. Hopefully, it looks Boom. good. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Cute. Yeah. Can't wear it yet, but cute. <laughs> It looks good. I like it. Thanks I'm for your work today. better fashion every day. No problem. Same time next week? Not this time, sadly. Oh, are you taking Christmas off? The opposite of that, actually. The arcade wants me to work late for Christmas. The arcade is exploitative of its employees. Especially it's underage employees, except I'm pretty sure he lied to them. He, he had to have lied and faked documents. I'm pretty There's sure I'd no other way he'd lied. be doing this stuff. <laughs> what? Why? We're right next door to a family resort hotel. The place fills up on the holidays, so it's big money. I see. However, I did manage to get Christmas Eve off. 
I was planning on spending the day alone in my apartment with a bucket of fried chicken, but if you want to just hang somewhere, that would be great. Oh no! I'm sorry, I'm afraid I've got to work on that day. Thank God. <sighs> Figures. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure you'll be great. I'm sorry, Benito. I'm sorry for betraying hey, uh, you. Christmas is coming up. Want to go shopping for gifts? Uh, yeah, sounds like a good idea. Good plan, because we didn't buy Matthew's gift yet. Yes, we did. Did? What? Yeah, the paints. Oh, At when, the question then what mark is the store. board game for? The board game is, um... Birthday? Birthday. But oh, okay. we can also give him the DSP for his birthday. Ooh, spoil him. Adam flits from one store to the next, barely stopping to look at anything. This is your idea of shopping? Hey, I gotta see all my options first. I'm not sure you're actually seeing anything. Not true. That store has clothing, and that one has books, and that one has... things. Things? It's a technical term. You might not be familiar with it. <laughs> and oh, well, it's a, it's a good thing you're here to explain it to me. Stuff Happy to help. and things. So have you decided who you're shopping for? Well, you, of course. And your parents. Oh, and my parents. Do you think I should get something for John? It would be polite. But John's kind of rich, yeah? What could I give him that he doesn't already have? Why not some sort of novelty from back home? Like Kona coffee? At risk of sounding like I'm stereotyping, I'm pretty sure he said he prefers tea. Point. So like a lay or something? He'd probably appreciate something useful. Ugh, gift giving is complicated. <laughs> yes, Agreed. yes it is. <laughs> I'm gonna need more time for this. You go on ahead. Okay, good luck. I better head to the bookstore and see if they have any good gifts. Uh, we can get Adam the puzzle cube. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. We should probably give him a friend gift. <laughs> and then we'll save the rest of we decide to do the board game or the DSP later. For yeah, Matthew's birthday up. in the spring. We will save up for now. Winter! Hey, wear the right clothing. Wear the cute clothing. I like this clothing. Hella. It looks good. Nice. All right, so we're coming up on Christmas. It's the weekend. Let's go chill with our oh, boy. Um, uh -oh. Oh, oh, oh. God, I hate that. I cannot get over that one line. Hi, Matthew. Let's go somewhere. Oh, Hell yeah. That. Smoker. Um, <laughs> you know what? Let's go to the cafe. Let's go to the cafe. Let's go to the I don't cafe. even remember so what nice. we did. I'll meet you there. I don't. I don't remember. I don't either. Oh, he's so pretty. Oh, he's your jacket. I can't. Oh, he's so. He's so pretty, and yet on the inside, I'm not getting enough yet. I need. I need your nice custard boots. filling, Matthew. They're a very popular style right now. I don't mind. This is interesting, although I. Don't know what I should order. I think scones. Scones? Alright, let's try that. Yeah. I really liked them last time. Shall I get some more? Yes, please. That was delicious. Thanks for spending time with me. You too. It's December! Why are we out of interactions? Like, okay. I think it's I'm, just I'm because we're not officially on his route yet. Oh. Okay, I guess. So, fitness is pretty high, so we should balance out blog and work, I think. Blog, blog, work, work, blog, blog, work, work. Oh, we should go to the pho place at some point. Oh, yeah, I wanted to test that. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh. As I pack up my makeup case, Rachel pops up beside me with a large plastic bucket in her hand. Hey, Sean, want in on the pool? The what? Rachel holds the bucket out to me. It's partially filled with various $1 bills. An old tradition from the last show I worked on. Most of the crew is the same, so we're doing it again. Write your name on a dollar bill, drop it in. We draw a name from the bucket, and the winner takes home the whole pool. We do it every Monday, just for the sheer joy of it. Is that kind of like gambling? It's not just no. like gambling. It is gambling. It <laughs> totally is gambling. So, you want in? Sure. Why not? Yeah, it's one dollar. What do sure, we got to lose? Not? $1. I need Rachel a dollar, and she scrawls my name onto it with a dull pencil. She takes the bucket out to the main floor and holds it high in the air. All right, people, all bets are in. She gives the bucket a small shake for show. 
Drum roll, please. A few crew members stomp on the ground while others beat out a faux drum roll on their legs. Ooh, Rachel Alexi, booyah! You sure you didn't oh, cheat, for Ray? Her. <laughs> if you care that much, you can hold the bucket next time. Anyway, we play once a week. If you want to play again, just let me know. Thank you. I will always play again. I love... Oh, oh. butterfly dream! We had a nice dream! Why are we in our bed sometimes and sometimes on the couch? Who knows? Mm. Uh, fuh. Fuh, 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 fuh. I can spend $10 to lower my fatigue. Let's Ow. try it. I that should sounds... have looked at what it was before. Oh well. <laughs> I'll see it post. Oh well. Yum. I'm feeling better already. Time to get ready for the winter fashion shoot with Dale and Matthew. Since tomorrow is Christmas, it might be nice to bring some gifts. Should I bring something from Matthew? Hell yes. Oil paint set. Date ass. This seems like a good choice. I just hope he likes it. Better get changed into my work clothes. Good afternoon, Dale. Good to see you, Sean. Miss Gooden, I'm here to discuss the shoot with oh, you. Oh, shit. Of course, happy to oblige. We're advertising a new winter-themed fragrance. If you could come up with something kind of fancy and different, we'd appreciate it. Hello, passive-aggressive Dale. Nice to see he you again. He means elegant <laughs> and set apart. <laughs> of course. Matthew's waiting for you in the back. I bet she's wearing real fur. Probably. I head back and find Matthew waiting in his usual spot. Sean. Oh my. I hoped it would be you. Oh my god. What is this visual K? <laughs> oh my god. He's beautiful. Oh, you flatter me. I'm happy to work with you too. And I see what your mother meant by set apart. Not exactly clothing you can grab off the nearest rack. I trust you'll come up it's with something that guard. matches. Wow. He doesn't even seem phased by what he's wearing. Of course. He's probably worn everything out there by now. Probably been Arctic in a swimsuit for the... It's Sports Illustrated cover. <laughs> the dude cover, if it exists. I'm gonna have to hunt that down. <laughs> I open my case and dig through my brushes. This'll be fun. I haven't tried something like this in a while. I pull out my hair voice brush and position myself next to Matthew. Take your hat off. I don't want it to get in the way. Matthew obliges, and I lean over him to apply a design on his face. He closes his eyes and waits calmly. You're a dream compared to the last time I did this. Hmm? Matthew responds with little more than a grunt, careful not to move while I work on him. I had a very brief run doing face painting at a festival back home. Kids don't like to sit still. <laughs> I think that response means he's amused. Plus, face painting is a very different discipline. I was pretty out of my depth. Hmm. Most likely meant, I see. Here we go, and done. Matthew stands, and I take in the full effect of his wardrobe and makeup. You look good. Was there ever doubt? <laughs> <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> well, painting isn't my strongest suit. I admire anyone who can do it well. Me too. He was talking about the design. <laughs> He meant the entirety of himself. You like painting? Painters. Although I've always wanted to try it myself. Well, good thing we got you a gift! E. Why haven't you? I haven't really had the chance to. Are you finished? Yes. Then get going. Yes, sorry for the wait. Uh oh. Ooh. Matthew strides off after Madeline and Dale immediately starts the shoot. I begin tidying up the back room, but Dale keeps it in good condition, so there's very little to do. I can hear the sound of the session wrapping up and Matthew leaving to change out of his outfit. Thank you for your work today. Always a pleasure. Before you go, I have something for you. For me? Like a Christmas gift. I hope you don't mind. I don't mind, but I'm a little surprised. I didn't bring you anything. You That's me the point of a gift. It's a paint set. You mentioned wanting to try painting. I think you'd like it. Yeah. Thank you. This Today is a very you thoughtful mentioned gift. That. <laughs> what? <laughs> he mentioned he wanted to try painting today, and we already had the gift. <laughs> She's like, I didn't you like painting, so I got this for you. It's like, but we didn't go anywhere. We just brought it with <laughs> us. I hope to see you again. Yep, see you around. Oh, gee, I sure hope he likes painting. I earned $300. Hell yeah. Christmas morning. 
I think I'm going to spend my morning sleeping in and enjoying myself. It's Christmas afternoon. Should I stop by Adam's room and give him the Yeah, gift? we actually have something for him this time. Yeah, we <laughs> Head to Adam's room and knock on the door. Merry Christmas! Ah! Merry Christmas. I brought you something. I hope you like it. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Thank you. I got something for you, too. It's a book. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> I wish you could how he said that. How do you say it? It's a book. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to hear it when it goes on. I see that. It's a book of myths and fairy tales. I remember we'd read stuff like that all the time as kids. I still enjoy this sort of thing. Thank you. Anytime. Aw, oh, friendship! Alright, how we doing? I'm thinky. No one wants Next to talk to us mail. yet. Cool. cool. Whoa, we took a solid jump. Wow, he's affectionate. Oh yeah. Uh, let's go hang out with him, I guess. Yes. It's not gonna say anything, but oh, fine. Um, It'll maintain uh, our relationship. Hello? To the arcade, arcade, we look so good. Hey there. Nice boots. They're a very popular style right now. I know, you've commented on them before. What would you like to play? Uh, we did the dance dance last time, right? Lucky chance? Yeah, so super lucky chance machine. Too bad we're not super or lucky. That's what you think. Thank you for taking me back here. I had fun. Th th See, that's it? Matthew. We don't get any more? So did Matthew. I. See, you're... You're super, but you're also lucky to have us. Wonk. Alright, so we need to work more. You better work, work. I say that every time. I don't even know what that song is from. Hey, girly. Interested in our lottery today? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Sure. I hand Rachel a dollar, she adds mine to the bucket. All right, kiddos. This week's lucky winner is... Ooh, Rachel Alexi. Again? Booyah! Again? You are cheating, Rachel. You, sure you didn't cheat, Ray? If you care that much, you can hold the bucket next How time. many people are on this crew? I want to know the odds of that. I, I think they've got like 20 names or something. Oh, no! Bad dream. Miss Gooden, I'm pleased to inform you that I wish you the cool. Fifteen. It's fifteen right now. Fifteen. Let's see what happens. Ten. It takes away ten. ten. Oh, ten dollars for okay. I guess it's it's well it's static compared to sleep, which can be not as much depending on how it goes I guess we'll hang out with the boo hang out with Matthew oh, even uh, though he won't fucking say anything because we're not on his route and I want to be there already oh my god say nice talk boot. to me I like his I jacket mind. this is interesting it is a very nice Although, jacket like Sandwich this like, time. He, oh, I'd like he, that. He looks he looks great, but I Me need too. I need his custard inside. I need his substance, his filling. I need to have it. You know? Uh <laughs> You need his oh. custard, his filling. Look, I had I had dim sum with the family recently, okay? And they had custard buns. That were really cute and had like little faces on them. I was using a pure metaphor for once in my life. <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm always gonna be this way, aren't I?